Hi, welcome to the flight preparation video by Zero. Today, I'm going to show you how to prepare for a flight. To ensure the safety of your flight, we suggest you to inspect the drone before it takes off. First of all, check the drone, propellers, battery, and the remote to make sure the appearance is not defective. Then, we should make sure everything is ready, including the drone, propellers, remote, range extender, battery, and the gimbal. Explorey provides brand new design propellers. To install the propellers, put the propellers with black mark on the black motor. Propellers with silver mark on the silver motor. Spin the propellers according to the sign until it's fixed. The modularized design makes it convenient to install the battery. Press the green button on the battery to check the capacity before you install it. When you install the battery, please notice the green line on the drone. The bottom of it should fit in the position. Then push the battery forward. If the connection clicks, then it means the battery is in position. Push down the battery lock button to lock the battery, so the battery will not fall out by accident. Remove the battery, release the battery lock, then you can remove the battery easily. If the battery is not installed properly, the drone can't be straight on. Next, I will show you how to install the gimbal. Locate the green slot on the drone. Insert the gimbal into the slot gently. Push the gimbal until a click is heard. Make sure the green line on the drone is aligned with the green line on the lock. Then, the gimbal is ready as well. If the lines are not aligned, then push the lock gently. Next, I will show you how to remove the gimbal. Put the landing gears in horizontal position. Put the gimbal lock outward. Then pull up the gimbal to remove. Now we have removed the gimbal. The gimbal of Explorer V can be replaced by the V version, and the installation is similar. First of all, remove the cover of the GoPro camera. Then remove the gimbal clamp. Put the camera into the gimbal and push gently. Make sure the camera is aligned with the edge of the gimbal. Now, I'll show you how to install the range extender. Locate the slot at the back of the remote. Place the range extender to them. and pull down gently. Turn on the remote by the switch at the back. Please turn on the remote first before your flight. For safety reasons, we suggest you to remove the propeller before the self-check. Remove the clamp as well, so the clamp can work during the self-check as well. Long press the power button on the top for about 3 seconds until the indicator is flashing. Now all four indicators are switched on. Red indicates the front of the drone and the flashing green and yellow indicates the back of the drone. The gimbal will self-check at the same time until it becomes stable. After the self-check, if the red indicators blink yellow slowly, the drone is in attitude flight mode. If the red indicators blink green, the drone is in GPS flight mode. This video is filmed indoors, so rear indicators blink yellow slowly due to the lack of the GPS signal. If you are a first-time user, 
make sure the drone is took off in the open field with the GPS flight mode on and avoid buildings. Now I'll show you how to control by the remote. Pull the left stick to bottom left and right stick to bottom right to activate the motors. Likewise, pull the sticks into the same position to deactivate the motors. Use the left stick to ascend, descend, and rotate clockwise, and rotate counterclockwise. Use the right stick to move forward, backward, left, and right. Turn the wheel on the top right to adjust the angle of the gimbal. Turn down to move down the camera. And turn up to move up the camera. Turn the wheel on the top left to adjust the brightness of the flight indicators. Turn down to decrease the brightness. And turn up to increase the brightness. If you are a first time user, we suggest you to choose the first flight level to avoid accidents. The first flight level can't be activated if the drone is in attitude flight mode. So, to make sure the drone is in GPS flight mode, please take off in open fields. There are differences in flight height and distance in different flight levels. So that's all for today's video. In the next video, I'm going to show the flight instruction. Thanks for watching.